Hey everybody, this is Guy with Survive. Happy Sunday. Uh, what we're gonna do today is just take a quick walk around the shop and do sort of a progress report, just walking through here. Uh, so let's get to it. Jumping right over here to finishing, uh, we have a bunch of GSO 3.5 and GSO 6 handles that are getting ready to be microtextured. Um, we should be able to keep all the building and shipping and stuff happening with those models without any big interruptions, uh, especially since Shane's been coming around to help. What's going on? Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, so that is continuing to go well. And moving over here, we are getting GSO 4.5, 8, 10, TSK, a bunch of handles pulled to start cutting uh, handle blocks to start machining those as we make fixtures. Uh, we also have steel for the upcoming Vendetta series here. And we're going to start cutting that as well and getting fixtures designed to start machining those. Uh, anything I'm missing there, Al? Okay. Uh, as you guys probably realize, I'm going to be relying on Ellie a good bit here because I am a little squirrel brain. So heading back here, I've got handle materials ready to start cutting on Monday morning, and we've got laundry that needs folded. We have a bunch of GSO sixes, 3.5s, some 12s here. Uh, that's going to start getting sharpened again here starting tomorrow morning. And uh, I was hoping that our buddy Jake would be by to weld on our longer guide rods for these 12s, but that hasn't happened yet, so I'll start struggling my way through those. The 12s is just a little long of a pull for the fixture setup that I've got here, but we'll make it work. Uh, just so you guys know, there, I mean, there's like 50 pounds of sixes in here right now and we keep building them. A um, lot going on there. And between things that we've got already sharpened and what's gonna be happening as the spring FDE and was it Coyote? She started arriving, these are the last spec. They, they fit, but not, not quite right. We just want them to fit a little bit better. Uh, between these and what's going to be sharpening, we should have well over 100 three fives going out very, very shortly with a bunch more coming right behind it. Looking where finishing is, uh, we should be wrapping up the GSO 3.5s and 20 CV pretty soon. Um, all the blades are done. They're just down to assembly and sharpening. Uh, that actually is gonna conclude the entirety of that part of the run. So uh, that's what's going on there. Any feedback there, Ellie? Uh, we also have a lot of the sixes that are already finished that we're working on building okay yeah but. so what she said uh we're gonna take a quick trip back here and go through the machine shop uh, there have been some questions about how we're taking on new projects uh with all these old projects and i think just visually walking around here will better explain that on a sunday there's nothing going on here it's nice and quiet i'm gonna turn this off so this is our new Filtration unit from MT Systems. It's their CDR unit. What it's doing is keeping the coolant circulating through these uh, cyclonic debris removal filters. Uh, it's got four hydrocyclones in here. Uh, if you guys are in the market, it's a great investment. Uh, it just keeps all the debris out of the coolant as you're grinding. So there's uh, no swerve buildup in the tank now. Uh, we can just focus on working. So looking back here, uh, we are, for the first time ever, way the hell ahead on grinding. Uh, we've just about got all the GSO 4.5 bushcraft knives done. We're getting down to the last of the run of the sixes. Uh, somewhere in here marks the end of any orders, and we're getting into the overs. And the tacks are just waiting for bevel grinding. Everything on here is just waiting for bevel grinding. Um, so we're making great strides here. I expect all of this fixture making and stuff for all the future projects that are coming up to take a couple of weeks to get everything programmed, machined. There's a lot of fixture plates to make for blade machining and handles. Uh, while that's happening, we're going to go ahead and just wrap up all the grinding for the outstanding orders and everything that's been through heat treat already. That's uh, going to get us way ahead and uh, just get these projects closed up very quickly. Something on your mind? Okay. Um, so yeah, these piles are starting to get smaller now as we get work through this. And, yep. So what's going on over here is handle machining. 
We're just down to some odds and ends here. We're about to start setting up some new handles. I think we're uh, got some 4.5, the TAC series stuff, or the 4, 4.5, the TSO 4.5, and uh, the 4 and the 5 TAC series handles we're going to start machining. Sorry, that tongue tied there. Uh, moving over here, this machine is getting broken down to start making fixtures. And then we're going to start machining blades on here. Uh, this is where we're going to start getting ahead with some new series, some new ideas, as we're finishing up these other ideas on other equipment. Um, we can keep up with anything that we can finish as far as handle machining with this Haas. And then we're going to start our new projects on this Haas so that as these projects wrap up relatively quickly, yeah, relatively quickly we have new projects coming through to follow and keep the machine shop booked up and finishing booked up as we wrap out these old uh, promises and uh, just start to survive manufacturing. So moving over to the VF3, we have the mounting plate all designed. We're gonna start machining that I think tomorrow morning or Tuesday uh, to put a Pearson on this. We're gonna be doing all of our bevel grinding on a Pearson to be able to switch from job to job more quickly and have more accuracy and repeatability. I'm very excited about this. Um, the five axis is gonna make setting up bevel grinding much more efficient. And uh, with everything we put into this machine, we're going to be able to grind faster and more accurately than ever. So anywho, uh, I think that's about everything for now. Uh, we'll keep some more updates rolling in this upcoming week. I just, while it was quiet, I just wanna knock out a more in-depth review here and uh, just kind of walk through the shop and just show you guys where everything is in real time right now. Any uh, additional points? Nope. All right. Well, uh, like I said, we'll keep up the, uh, the updates on Instagram and uh, maybe a few things for YouTube. I know we did have some questions. Everybody likes the shop updates, but uh, they missed the us using stuff. Unfortunately, we're just in Boise. We're really far away from anywhere that we can get out and actually use the knives the way we used to when we were in North Idaho. Uh, right now, we're just bootstrapping, so I'm really sorry if uh, we don't get any, you know, out and about user stuff. Um, we'll try to do better as we get more caught up and can get farther away from the shop. But right now, we're just focusing on work and getting caught up. Now we've got all the best solutions. Uh, everything's running really good. We have a focus team and we're just ready to really get into this and get caught back up and make up for these uh, three years where we're just kind of in limbo here with uh, the situation that we, we beat that to death already and talked about it. So uh, no need to dwell on that. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday and we'll talk to you again soon. So real quick before we sign off, uh, we forgot to mention it, but just because we're here all the time doesn't mean you're not getting outside and playing. Uh, if you're getting out there and you take good photos or videos, be sure to tag us at Survive Knives on Instagram or send any photos or anything like that for a chance to be submitted to info at SurviveKnives.com. And uh, yeah, any noteworthy photos, we're glad to post. Uh, so I guess for now, we're going to live vicariously through you guys while we get caught up on work. Uh, anyway, have a great day and we'll talk to you guys again soon.